So how, how did you decide to become an artist? Mm. I mean, I think it's it, it's interesting because I I you know I did a series of films with friends called True the Fat, and that's one of course that's one of the things. I mean, and it's when I was doing that, I was interested in it for younger artists or younger people who see it to kind of have a little. And uh, and so I thought a lot about it, and I would say for me it was about like elimination, right? So I eliminated the fact my father was a civil servant, I mean he was a diplomat, but he was a civil servant in Thailand. And every day when he drove us to school, you know, he would talk about the corruption, and this is Ministry of Foreign Affairs, right? You, you know, military, Ministry of Interior, you know, you can understand like corruption, but like Ministry of Foreign Affairs, how do you become corrupt in this? But it's like uh, nepotism, it's like, uh, you know, a lot of layers of things, and he's always talking about how the government is very corrupt, and this is back in the 70s, you know, and I, I was like, I absolutely will never enter the diplomatic corps. And he was suffering of corruption. Yeah, he was suffering, and you know, because he was, you know, he was a man with some, you know, integrity of his own, and you know, even though he wasn't so highly educated, he was really, and he's not like a person who, like, he doesn't, you know, he works, he doesn't socialize and work, you know, he works. So then that was like, oh, I'm not going to do that. And then in high school in Thailand, I mean, we, my friends and I became very interested in photography. So we started to uh, take pictures and then we started to make pictures for the yearbook. And then of course, because of that, we were looking at a lot of like, um, you know, things like National Geographic or Life magazine and, you know, and that kind of like, oh, you know, I saw like that that was kind of possible way of, uh, you know, working and living, you know, meaning like you could see things in the world and you could still be working, and, you know, so it's kind of like, so it was the, not an artist at the beginning. No, it no, was, no. I, I, when I left high school, I, I, I mean, you know, everyone says, what am I going to be, you know, blah, blah. I said I was going to be a photojournalist. And then, so really, and I must say, and I'll, I'll reflect on that, but, and then, so, then when I went to, my father got stationed in Canada, and then I went there with him, and I was finishing high school, so I was entering into college, so I went into the history department, you know, to kind of work my way towards journalism, you know. But of course I was interested more in photography, so I took art history classes. And I must say, I never really had any connection to art. That time I was 19. And um, so art history classes, you know, at that time, I remember now, but they would have you sit in a darkened room and they would project, you know, the different isms, right? <laughs> And, and I was doing photography history, I was doing, uh, I mean, Canada, so I was doing Canadian art history, and then I was modernism, you know, art, modern art. And it was kind of interesting because, like, I narrowed it down to, like, a slide of Milovich white on white, right, one week, and then the following week was, like, Duchamp's urinal. And these two were kind of made me go, like, what is it, you know? <laughs> and so I then got up and decided to to go to the counselor and to say, what is this art, you know, like, you know? And uh, literally I went to the counselor's office, they're there, and I'm here waiting, and this whole thing, bookshelf, and I look at the bookshelf, and I walk up to one, and then I pulled out one book, out of hundreds. And it says Ontario College of Art. It, it was, was like a, a sign. Do you believe in sign? <clears throat> I, I I believe in some kind of. Uh, I mean, I'm a Buddhist, so I believe in you know certain kinds of destination. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that it, things happen, and uh, if you were aware, you kind of get the right <laughs> get to the right place. So 
I just took the book, I wrote down the address and the next day I went out and made photographs, I made drawings, I made things I never made before. So, and then I was very impressed with Duchamp's idea of like chance procedure, which is one of, you know, whatever, many of his ideas. And so I made a lot of chance procedure, but because also because that is very much related to a kind of Buddhistic thinking, in a mm -hmm. way, right? I mean, and then of course later then you discover like John Cage, you know. Um, and so, the adventure become, bega so the began adventure like begins. that. Well, it's not, I mean, it's even better because then, of course, I made this funny portfolio, sent it to this one school, and uh, I got an interview. I went to the interview and I know that, I mean, I remember that, I mean, you, you have to be interviewed by three people and they are professors or you know from three different departments you know like fine arts film and you know media art or photoelectric they call and uh, 